Welcome to Quick Geek. This is your tech news, South Africa. In tech news this week, MTN and Vodacom have some data deal specials. Yeah, so MTN, um, maybe we should start with Vodacom because it's the less contentious one. So Vodacom's launched a special, and I say less contentious, but it's still been met with some resistance. 149 <laughs> Rand, two gigs a month, two-year contract, but it's also available on top-up, so it's not just postpaid, which is pretty rad. Uh, um, how does that compare with... Uh with other things? Well, it doesn't compare too favorably with what they launched before, which is a which is a two year con <laughs> uh, yeah, two year contract, 149 rand a month, but you get two plus two gig, oh, yeah, two gigs to owl. use, and then the night owl exactly. Okay. So people are comparing it against that. People are comparing it to other offers in the marketplace, such as Aitas. Um, and Ouch. so, like, even though this is actually a pretty solid deal, Vodacom are enduring enormous amounts of abuse on my broadband. <laughs> Very um, nice. But I mean, I guess. It's time to pull out all the stops. This isn't bad on top up, but then for contract customers, I think they could have at least given them the night owl yeah. uh, to go with it and then added this for top up. Something like that. I don't know. Um, it, it would have had less backlash, I think. Uh, people would have gone, okay, it's just the same thing as last year. You know, no big whoop, but it, it would have been less. You could negative. just be testing the waters again. So perhaps, yeah. perhaps, yeah. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Maybe this is something that becomes permanent. Sure. That's the other thing that people are hoping for is that this eventually becomes sort of Actually a permanent type of permanent. pricing. Yeah. 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 Now, the more contentious one was MTN, uh, who um, the the story that came out was that they were going to have a, a bit of a flat rated smartphone package similar to BIS similar to BIS for for yeah for the South for Africans Blackberry, out there yeah. our Blackberry internet service um, so basically you pay one amount and you've got internet for the month um, you know maybe it'll be like uh, we knew that it was going to be 75 megs and then maybe there's going to be some sort of uh, you know th that, throttle, yeah, throttle after speeds. that limit or whatever, whatever it turns out no they're <laughs> going to actually they call it overuse billing and so the obvious question to that was how is that any different to normal out of bundle or ad hoc rates after you after you've used up your bundle. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what eventually happens there. Um, Go back to the flat rate. Yay. Yeah, yeah. but, but uh, you had some interesting points earlier about, um, about tethering, and because they said that this will allow tethering, and obviously smartphones like Androids you know, come off the shelf usually with tethering and stuff enabled. So or if they don't have, there's, there's an app for that somewhere. Maybe even more than one. Yeah. So, so the, the, the ways to, to sort of uh, abuse this, this flat rated product, not, I, I use the, the term loosely, to use it in a way that wasn't intended by the operator. Yeah. That, that, that exists. Yeah. In many ways. Okay, interesting. So that, that would be something that they would have to clamp down on somehow. They'd have to take it into account before they can launch packages like this. Yes. Hectic. Cue the abuse thrashing. Yes. <laughs> uh, talking about abuse, uh, Vodacom has uh, said that they are cracking down on those pesky BIS users who were pushing 300 gigs a month on a 60 rand a month package. I want to know package. how. I, yeah, I want how? to know how. <laughs> I have MWeb uncapped on a 4 meg line, and the most I've been able to push on that is just over 200 gigs. And even I don't know how I did that. Well, we know somebody <laughs> who runs his line nonstop MWeb, 600 gigs a month. Wow. Yep. That can be man done. has skills. Yep, can be done, can be done. Anyway, Vodacom <laughs> cracking down. How are they? Did they give any details? Yeah, no. Uh, I had to do this the old-fashioned way, which is, uh, you know, to, like get all journalistic and whatever. Um, no, no. The, uh, the, the uh, PRs didn't want to give too much detail, corporate communications. Mm -hmm. So they sent out, it was hidden in, in a press release. They're like, hey, everybody, we're going to improve the, qu the quality of our network by limiting BIS usage to 100 megs a month. And if you go over that, we'll throttle you back. Massive outcry. Meanwhile, yeah. that was not supposed to be there. Yeah. Well, no, no. Well, well yeah. <laughs> I, I think it was going to happen anyway. So I'm actually very glad it leaked out um, because I think the outcry, I, I mean, eventually people would have, you know, been like, hey, my BlackBerry feels slower than, than I'm used to. I, I wonder if the BlackBerry users are now going to leave in their droves or something. <laughs> Somehow yeah. I doubt it. I, um, <laughs> 60 I, I think, a month is a powerful I think incentive. in that very same article, they, they also said, that um, BI, current BIS users, you know, people use it the way it's supposed to be used, don't even notice. Or they might even notice that some things are faster. N well, but in, they, they won't well, notice. No, no, no. In, in this case, the way the, what they've implemented is a, um, is, a, uh, is a sort of human intervention system. So they measure, they see who is using uh, data outside the terms of service, mm -hmm. um, they monitor that over a couple of months. If they see a trend, they throttle that person back. Okay. So, Fair enough. Um, yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's uh, I, uh, that person can try to complain, I guess. I don't know what leg he has to stand on. Hello, leg warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Bye, my friend. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, takes us into your next topic. Luke, take it so, away. So, do you really need a heart or a pulse? Um, so, it's a story about a, a man who 
after having some heart disease, um, had his heart entirely removed, but instead of going for the traditional pacemaker, has got a, a, a best description would be a pump installed. So instead of having something that continuously pulses like we would normally have in a human body, he has a continuous flow of blood. Um, so in other words, EEG machines, there is no way to measure this guy's life sign. Doctors measure this guy. He, he, he appears clinically dead to them. The only thing that they can tell that he's alive is they can hear a motor running in, within his chest cavity. The cyborgs are coming. I want to be one. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, this just brings you a step closer to good old-fashioned cyber, cyborging and whatever, you know. I love it. I love it. All right, so next up, we've got a new tablet launch in South yeah, Africa. Yeah, the Vod Vodacom launched uh, the Vodacom Smart Tab. Um, it's actually two devices. There's a 7-inch model and a 10-inch model. Uh, WXGA display. So uh, we haven't actually got any, any hard details on what exactly that means because WXGA is kind of broadly interpreted. But if it's anything like current Android tablets, it's an Android tablet. So if it's anything like them, it'll be uh, 1280 by 800. Uh, it runs Honeycomb 3.2, 5 megapixel camera on the back, 2 megapixel on the front, 16 gigs of storage internal, has an SD card slot, and it is uh, it, it packs a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad for a white-labeled uh, tablet. It, yeah, it's not bad, and the pricing is pretty interesting, too. For the 7-inch, you're paying on prepaid uh, 3,700, and for the 10-inch, you're paying 4,700. Uh, yeah, that's Which, not entirely uh, bad. Yeah. That's not bad, and that's for a 3G model. So if I look at the Asus Transformer for uh, uh, just a Wi-Fi model for the 16 gig, you're paying upwards of 4,200 rand. Maybe they've scaled it back down, but the, the last prices I saw um, that were any, any kind of decent price was 4,200 rand. So, you know, these aren't bad. They're certainly not bad specs. What I am interested to see, and hopefully Vodacom will get back to us, uh, is how, how the updates look for this thing. It's on, it's on Honeycomb 3.2, so that's the latest for Honeycomb. But Ice Cream Sandwich is out, so it's a little disappointing that it doesn't have that. But will it be getting Ice Cream Sandwich in the future? Because uh, I'm fairly sure it can handle it. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I want to move us into 22.7 scary t terms and conditions. For those who missed last week's episode, 22.7, like quickly put, is a personal financial management tool. So um, uh, the, the problem uh, that people had with the system is that you had to type in your bank account credentials, your account number, PIN, and password, all of it, um, so that they could automatically pull your transaction data from your online banking, in, from your online banking uh, and populate it into this thing that lets you manage your money in a very cute, uh, creative fun way. Um, it's a very interesting service. Uh, do check out our, our, our other stuff on that. But they had some scary provisions in their terms of service. According to some people, gave them the freedom to distribute, to disseminate wow. uh, and, and, and stuff were used in conjunction with your security credentials in the TOS. So people were very skittish about that. 20 to 7 have said they are going to relook the TOS to more accurately reflect what they plan to do with your because their privacy policy spells out what they do with it, mm. uh, but the TOS leaves and it wide open. Yeah, as I understood, they don't actually have those credentials. They don't keep those credentials. No. Those go to a third party. Called Yardley in the United States, who are audited like a bank. This yeah. is all very surface level. Go and check out the stuff. I know a okay. lot of people are skittish about this. You probably I wouldn't be. trust it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, so uh, last thing I wanted to chat about is the fiber networks in South Africa. So um, those of you who watched last week's show know that Steve Song is working on, on a project called After Fiber, trying to map all the terrestrial fiber networks in South Africa. Um, he managed to get Telcom's map, which we, which we spoke about, and it's up on my broadband. You can do and take a look. It looks hella impressive. Mm, it does. It really does. It's shiny. How, mon how, how, how much fiber do we say was in there? 144,000 kilometers of fiber in their network. So that's probably not all of it. it that's probably not all of it. Yeah. Um, but I but mean, that's a whole lot of it. Yeah, that, that shows you. I wonder what how many times around out. the planet that is. <laughs> I'm going to go and we can, put I'll that in Google Alpha, yeah. now, Alpha now, now. Yeah. So uh, that's, the, that's it for Quick Geek for this week. Please go and check out our other shows. That's Let's Talk Geek uh, for, for more of this and for deeper discussions. Also check out uh, the other shows uh, on the Let's Talk Network. Thank you for watching.